in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Um, as a Muslim, we are firmly against all forms of injustice, especially the killing of innocent people, whether that be in Ukraine, here in the UK, or anywhere around the globe. We stand firm and united against all forms of transgression, transgression and oppression. For God tells us in the Quran that Man قَتَلَ نَفْسًا بِغَيْرِ نَفْسٍ Till the end of the verse that whoever kills a soul um, um, unjustly, then it is as if he has killed the whole of uh, humankind. And whoever saves a soul, then it is as if he has saved the whole of humankind. We are taught in Islam, as a Muslim, we are taught that it, the world and its passing away is insignificant in the eyes of, uh, eyes of the Lord than for an innocent soul, for their soul to be lost. Our Prophet Muhammad, may, may Allah's blessings and peace be upon him. He tells us in a very profound statement that we should support our fellow brothers, whether they are the oppressed or the oppressors. The companions then asked, we know how to help the, help the oppressed, but how do we help the oppressor? He replied by saying, by putting a stop to his oppression, by putting a stop to his oppression. Europe has seen the justice of Islam and the advancements of science and technology throughout the time, uh, throughout time in Muslim Spain and elsewhere, as st stated by Robert um, Brefol himself. And Europe will carry on witnessing the unshakening, unwavering justice of Islam from Muslims against all atrocities, the likes of which we are seeing, seeing today in Ukraine. However, my quick speech, which will be another couple of minutes, is very different to the, uh, the, the, the honorable guest here. What hurts myself as I am a Muslim and I speak on behalf of the Muslims and I speak on behalf of the Muslim community is unfortunately the blatant hypocrisy that we see towards me, which the media like CBS News has called the uncivilized human. And why is it? As BBC perfectly replies, it is because I don't have white skin, I don't have blue eyes, and I don't have blonde hair. We the sons and daughters of humanity, of Adam and Eve, should we not stand for all of injustice? Should we not stand uh, against all injustice? Should not the dead in Afghanistan and Iraq and Palestine be the same as, the, as those who are killed unjustly in Ukraine? When the Palestinian flag was waved in the stadiums, FIFA told, was, uh, uh, forcefully took them down and, was, and FIFA themselves said that they have no place in politics. When Mezo Ozil and other athletes spoke about um, the, the, the torture camps in China against Muslims, their sponsorships were stripped away from them. And again, FIFA and UEFA said that they had nothing to do with politics. But when football teams now speak about the atrocities that are taking place in Ukraine, when Ukrainian flags are waved in the stadium, they are applauded and FIFA themselves are praising this. We have no objection to this. In fact, we support this. We want this. But why the double standards? We see European nations have turned away African refugees and Arab refugees, but uh, just recently, but all of a sudden now the borders are open for UK, uh, the Ukrainian refugees. Ukrainians holding guns in and defending their land, which is a right upon for them. Yet when Palestinians do the same and they are throwing rocks against their invaders, they are deemed to be terrorists. The list goes on and on. Why the double standards? Is my skin and blood cheaper than that of my white neighbor? Do I have to inject myself full of oil and gold for the West to treat me the same as any other European? Be against injustice wherever it is and for no matter what is, who it is. The killing of an innocent soul in Ukraine, Ukraine should shake your heart just the same as if it was the killing of an innocent soul in Palestine. Let's, let's not be a globe of 7 billion people with 14 billion faces. Again, let's not be a globe of 7 billion people with 14 billion faces. And I end with this. Our Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. He said in his last, uh, last sermon before he passed away, 1,400 years ago, he said, an Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab. And a non-Arab has no superiority over an Arab. A white person has no superiority over a black, nor does a black person have any superiority 
over a white. Stand up against injustice and oppression. Let us be the voice of the voiceless. We pray from the bottom of our hearts for the people of Ukraine. We pray that, the, the, that God helps them um, uh, get to safety, that God um, allows this situation to pass. And we pray for them just as we pray for the rest of, the, of humankind. Thank you very much. Thank you, Iman, and thank you to all our speakers this evening. That just about finishes it. Before we go, though, uh, we've had a, a minute's silence, but I think it's appropriate that we have a minute's applause for all the people in Ukraine that suffer.